Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. We got some bees we're gonna check on the hive that we put the uh, uh, frame of eggs and larvae in. We're gonna check on it and see if they make any queen cells or if we can find the queen on it. So uh, this is what the uh, hive looks like right now. We got plenty of bee numbers on the outside of the hive, so I'm expecting the hive to be uh, pretty full as far as the bee numbers it should still be up because it's only been a couple days since I put that in there but we're gonna see if we can find our queen or at least see where she's been laying or anything like that so stick around alrighty then let's check see what we got the freaking mosquitoes is terrible out here today I need about need to put a suit on just to uh, help hide from the bees. So let's see what we got. Still got plenty of bee numbers, as you can tell. And just so you know, smokers don't help when it comes to uh, Mosquitoes. Feels awfully light. They got a little bit of nectar and pollen on this frame. Nectar's right there in the middle. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but there's nectar and pollen on that frame. Uh, At least the wind ain't blowing today. We got storms popping up around in the area and stuff, which is the reason why I've got my hood on. But, uh, in case y'all are new to the channel, that right there is pollen. And then that's nectar. Once the cell's full and they get the uh, nectar down to the humidity or moisture content that they want. They turn it into honey. That's some more nectar. Same thing on this frame, just nectar and pollen. Now this is the frame or the hive we put two uh frames in the other day out of another hive a little bit of pollen on this one a little bit of pollen on that side i think these two frames right here is the ones we added to it There it is. We got worker brood and worker brood. I'm gonna show you what we got. All this right here is worker brood. Those open cells is just where the queen didn't lay at. And you can tell it's worker brood because it's flat. Could be a bee about ready to hatch out. I don't see any eggs or larvae on any of these frames here. I don't see any queen cells. Cause this is the frame that we put in here with the With the eggs and larvae on it. I take that back. 
We do have a queen cell. It's on the bottom of the thing. And as you can see, there's royal jelly in there. Let me see if we can get this to zoom in. The light's not conducive to do what we need to do, but that's a, a queen cell. That's got a royal jelly and an egg in it. Right now at that stage, a larva. So they've made a queen cell out of what we put in here. And when you put a frame in with an egg or a queen cell on it, always be sure not to damage that queen cell. Now with all the eggs and larvae that was on that frame that we put in there, I would expect there to be more queen cells, but there's not. I'm just looking this frame over to see what we got. The sun's going down. I got this hood on and I can't really tell what they got going on. I do know that there's mosquitoes out here and they are ankle biters. They seem pretty good. I'm gonna have to take this hood off just so I can kind of see. This is what we're looking at. So this frame here, so there's larva, but I'm not seeing any eggs on here, which y'all probably can't see it anyway because of the way the sun's shining. But all that is larva, different stages of it at least. sun shining right in on the uh, camera. I don't see a queen. And like I said, I don't see any eggs. And then we got a queen cell over here. All I can do is assume that they're queenless because of all that. Pull one more frame and look at this one. We got queen cells on this one too. So it looks like we've got three queen cells. One right there, one right there. But well, there's three queen cells on this frame. One, two, and three. I wish that sun went where it was at, but. Uh, but those are our queen cells. And that's the biggest one of them all. So they're gonna try to requeen herself. I don't know if they moved the eggs and larva over to these queen cells or what. I'm gonna close this hive back up. If I can find a uh, picture, I'll throw it up there of uh, the stages that it goes through when they make queen cells. Some of y'all may or may not have seen that. And it's a pretty good uh, diagram for you to look at. And it'd be something good to screenshot if you don't have it so we'll do a wrap up on this looks like out here today we got clouds and for some reason we got a helicopter flying around it just went in behind those trees over there so i don't know what's going on with them but we got these little storms popping up all over the place today that's the reason why i have my my hood on but let me get out here in front of y'all and we'll do a little wrap up 
All right, hopefully that helicopter is gone for now. That frame or that uh, hive that we just looked in, that's the one we did to check on the other day and we had just a few uh, eggs and the beginning stage of larvae in there. I still didn't see the queen. Uh, maybe when we look through the, uh, the video, we might be able to see her, but I honestly don't think she's in there. Uh, we had a discussion the other day, me and another subscriber, and we were asking about do, uh, do the bees move eggs from out of a cell and put them in like a queen cell or something. I don't know. If y'all know, put it in the description below or in the comments below. Uh, I've never read anything definitive on that. Uh, seems like I've seen it in a couple articles or whatever, but I really don't remember what they said. Uh, so I'm not sure. But anyway, that hive's trying to requeen itself. And uh, like I said, I, if I found that picture, you've already seen it, but I won't try to throw that diagram up where you can see the different stages of uh, that it goes through for making queen cells and stuff. So, and I also wanted to show you this Teespring. I know you see it sometimes on the thing. I'm gonna go back on there and take this down maybe by an inch because I think that's a little too big. If you think that diagram's too big, leave it in the comments below. But uh, that's the channel logo for now. And then it's got Fishman 76 on the back. Uh, if y'all are interested in any kind of merch or anything like that, when you pull the videos up, uh, it's listed below. And I'll put a link down in the description below. I make a little bit of money off of the, the shirts, but uh, not a whole lot. There's shirts, tank tops, long sleeve shirts. I think there's sweatshirts on there too, coffee mugs and some stickers and stuff like that. They've all got the logo at some size and all that other good stuff. But like I said, I'm gonna go back on there today. By the time y'all watch this video, it'll probably be a week. But I'm gonna go in there and fix it and make this decal a little bit smaller than what it is. But uh, there's all kind of stuff on there. There's anything from, I think it's a five or $6 sticker on up to, I think the sweatshirts are 40 some bucks. I'm not sure if I ordered a sweatshirt or not, but I got two shirts coming in. They should be here probably this week. And I'm gonna check them out, see how they look. Uh, from what I can tell, they're decent shirts. I don't think they're junk, but we'll see. I'll start wearing them in the uh, videos and stuff so y'all can see them. But anyway, instead of rambling on, let's get on out of here. Hope y'all doing good. Y'all be safe. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber, how about hitting the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside it so you'll get notifications when we put another video up. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one. Over here are some videos that I also think you would like. So go ahead and click on one of them and continue watching. I do appreciate y'all watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.